love my mama. Say it. Say I love mommy. You very say it. As a mom, I'll tell you what's hard. What's hard is not being able to hear Elisha say I love you. Elisha was a young boy so full of life. He was always outside riding his bike. He and I were very close. A lot of people call him my mini me. So it was August 5th, uh, 2012, and the boy said, hey mom, can we go ride our bikes? And it was like five minutes later, one of the boys that met Elisha had been hit by a car. He was just 12. We drove to the hospital and I leaned over and I said, hey kiddo, I'm here for you, baby. We're gonna see a miracle of some way come out of this. He had severe traumatic brain injury. At that moment, I really had to lean into my faith again and just say, trust that we still have hope. He can't uh, talk like you and I talk. You ready to go home? Yeah. He's in a wheelchair. He needs us to do everything for him. But can I tell y'all something? His joy is so real. It's so authentic. And it changes us. Good morning, handsome. Our journey is hard. But in the struggle, we find joy. And then what I realized was how his joy was affecting us. Why couldn't his joy affect the world? We like to shoot videos with him so that we can distract him from the therapy, doing something fun, making him laugh. I just can't even stop laughing, y'all look. <laughs> we can show the world how we include Elisha in our family, how we don't uh, allow his disability to hold us back from living a full life. This amazing young man is touching people's hearts. Well, there's a lot of things that have changed in our lives. We've learned so much. We've learned how to love better. I now have an understanding of unconditional love like I never have before.